we're joined again by Dr. Tim O'Connell and we're talking birds. This time we've got another option to feed them, suet. A suet feeder. So this is a uh, commercially available suet cake and uh, suet is a, in this case, it's a mix of uh, seeds that are kind of crushed up and put in with some, uh, some rendered fat. For birds, fat is good. Okay. That's what they want in their diet. All right. And fat Year round helps. or? Yeah, yeah, but mostly in the winter. Okay. So when you're a little tiny bird like this, you lose heat very quickly. Okay. So, uh, and, and the nights are long. So you need a lot of, uh, you know, something to burn, calories to burn to get you through the night until okay. the next morning and you can start feeding again. Um, so anything that's high fat content is really what they're looking for. And this is especially relished by uh, woodpeckers, wrens, um, chickadees, titmice, things like that. And you can just offer plain suet, uh, rendered fat of any kind you want, or this is one that has peanuts and corn chopped up in it. Some do berries, okay. some do insect parts. Now I've heard you can make suet, is that true? And, and what about the peanut butter activity of smearing on a pine cone with bird seed? You could do that. Okay. Um, so uh, I wouldn't just put straight peanut butter, I'd mix it with something like uh, cornmeal and flour. Okay. Some people feed pie dough, so that's flour and lard, and, uh -huh. it, and birds of course love it. It's a, it's a high density, high caloric food, and uh, it, it's not just gonna, you know, if it gets warm, peanut butter is gonna melt down and it's gonna be, make a big mess. So you want a whole, something to stick it together a little bit better. Uh -huh. Yeah. And do you need to put it in a, feed, a suet feeder like this? Or uh, no. If you were to make Sometimes it? Uh, what I do is I'll just take it if it's if it's a softer kind of thing. I can especially a tree like this with some nice bark. I'll just like shove it in the bark, and then the birds can stick their beak in there and uh, and get what they need. Uh, but these are you know pretty cheap and easy to find, and you can hang them just about anywhere. All right. Excellent. Thanks mm -hmm. for that information. Sure. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Mm -hmm.